So today I'm going to be showing you how the graphical user interface or GUI for this character select was actually created. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new scene. Let's just go ahead and call it GUI. You're going to do other node and canvas layer. So you're going to want the canvas layer, the root node. This will allow it to match the screen size very well and work as the graphical user interface. So the first thing you're going to want to add is a container. Right here I ended up using just the merging container. You could use a lot of the other containers. This one I just know more of how it works. So you're going to do full rectangle and this will just make it take the full size, size of the screen. You're then going to want to decide if you're going to be working in the horizontal or vertical first. For this instance I ended up using the horizontal and this will allow me to split it up um, into the horizontal segments. I'm then going to add a merging container. I'm going to use this for the left padding and the right padding. In this case, I'm going to want the left padding to take up as much space as it can, and I'm going to give the right padding a set size. So the way I'm going to do that is the right padding, I'm just going to go down here to rect and set the min size on the X to 100. This is going to make it take 100. And on the left padding, I'm going to go ahead and set the size flag, expand horizontal, and this is going to make it take as much space as it can. So the next thing I'm going to add is the spot that contains the buttons. For this, I'm going to do a V box, and this is going to be much like the vertical or horizontal, but it's going to be in the vertical direction. And much like the H box, I'm going to add padding to the top and bottom. Unlike the H box, I'm going to want the top and the bottom to take up as much as they can to center the buttons. And instead of expanding in the horizontal, you're going to expand in the vertical and this should achieve, should achieve this. So anything that goes in between here is going to be centered. In between those two paddings, I'm going to add another H box. <coughs> And this is going to be used to have a button in it. So this is going to be the head. And I'm going to add to that a button, a label, and another button. And that's going to split it up just like this. The button I had a minus, a plus, and the label I just had head. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. This is going to be the body. Label is going to be body. Now normally you're going to want to create your own scene for each of these because they're very similar and that's what I ended up doing in the main project but I'm going to have it split up right here. Or I'm going to have it in one scene here instead just because it'll be easier for you to see it all. I'm going to go ahead and add the legs. The next thing we're going to need is the toggle buttons. I had in there the toggle run and the toggle child. So I'm going to go ahead and add, add those in. And those are just going to be an H box also. So if you go into the button, the toggle is the checkbox. And this will work quite slowly to a button, but it'll save a true or false state. I'm then going to add a label. I'll just duplicate this. Yet again, this should probably be its own scene of a toggle button scene, um, but in this case I'm just going to have it in here so that it looks simpler. I'm 
Right down at the bottom, I then had a save button. So to add that, you just add a button. And then just make sure it's above the padding. And then you could just change the text on here. Save. And this is how it looked in the finish thing. Now this isn't linked up or anything. This is just showing the how I built the GUI. One thing to note, the save button is the button is going to take up the size of the container. So it looks fine in this instance, but if these labels were a lot bigger, then it might give you a look that you don't want. So that's the showcase of how the GUI was built inside the character select demo. If you have any questions, please ask down below. And if anything was unclear, please let me know and I could go and clarify that.